Hey there, I'm Paul Sterling, Magic Relationship Method. I am a relationship coach to do this. And this basically is about the holiday season. And this is designed for people who have sort of a love-hate relationship with the holidays. And I laid it all out so it could be fun and simple and so it could be less stressful for me because I'm talking to you about how to go from being stressed to feeling blessed. And I was trying to keep all my notes and I ended up stressed out about it. So instead, I'm going to do it in a way that's fun and easy to track. So we just went through the Thanksgiving holidays and... What I want to talk to you about is the three biggest stressors. There's a lot of them, but these three, if you understand what they are, you can avoid them or you can handle them or you can stop them when they're small. So what are the first three? Oh, by the way, when you put all three of these together, you end up with the perfect storm or the holiday from hell. So what are some of the little stressors? Well, finances, people that you normally would avoid, you end up with in the holidays, family members, travel, too much, too much to do, not enough time, decisions. So that puts you in a stressful mood. Now, here are the three biggest stressors. And by the way, all it is is three steps. We're going to teach you the three steps today. Step one, step two, and step three. Number one is figure out and agree on what the problems are. Step two is to give you some tips, tools, and techniques to handle them. And then step three is implement the tools. And step four is to... Have a holiday that is happy, connected, harmonious, feels like a partnership where you feel a sense of belonging and gratitude. So here are the three biggest stressors. Number one, communication mistakes. And one of my teachers, Dr. Marshall Rosenberg, the creator of nonviolent communication, he said that the outcome of most communication is misunderstanding and that happens in the holidays big time. So what we want to do is give you some tools to handle that. So I'm going to give you one tip here. And then, like I said, there's a webinar coming up. We'll be able to dive deeper into the webinar. But when somebody's talking, here's the three things they want. They want to be heard, understood, and valued. And if they don't, they get louder and meaner and crazier. You know, you ever have Uncle George that tells you the same story 500 times? Well, that's because he never felt heard, understood, or valued once.